Regular expressions are a tool that linguists can use to search for pretty precise patterns, uh, normally over large quantities of text, although uh, one can use these precise patterns of regular expressions to search for um, some element or elements within a particular document. What we mean by precise patterns are, take for example, if we were wanting to look for all words within some corpus ending in an N or an S. Another example, uh, which is a little more precise, would be if we were looking for uh, some conjunction followed by a verb in the third person singular preterite. And we were doing some study on those items. So for instance, if we were looking for all words ending in an N or an S, this would be the pattern that we would use. We'll study in an upcoming video what the forward slash W plus there means. This here means we're looking for any word of any length that ends in an N or an S. As you can see, all of these words here, and here are their counts too, end in either an N or an S. And it doesn't matter how many times we do the search, we might get different results, depending on whether we're looking at a random sample each time. But as you can see, the pattern holds up. The other example we talked about was if we were looking for any conjunction followed by a verb in the third person singular preterite. So one way to craft that would be I could use this syntax to say give me any word that is e or o or g and then I'm going to use that forward slash w plus syntax again and this time I'm going to specify that I want all words that end in either yo or simply o. And as you can see, this is giving me different words or different combinations, but each of them pretty much have a conjunction followed by some verb in the preterite, third person singular. Here we got a yo form at the end there as well and we're just searching randomly through this database and we're getting different results each time so that's the point of using regular expressions it's very powerful and there is a language that you have to learn but it is pretty simple to learn